This is Quinn Bachand, already well known to you, I hope. Uh, he's a good friend and an amazing musician. And uh, well, we're here in Langley now, in, on Whitby Island at Django Fest Northwest, where he got to perform. He gave an incredible concert yesterday evening with, uh, or yesterday afternoon with uh, Max uh, O'Rourke. And Dennis Chang set in for a few songs, didn't he? Yeah. I didn't get a chance to go listen, which was really stupid, but I. Nevertheless, I heard you play. I know how it is. And um, so now we're here, and it would be great to just, you know, hear you talk a little bit. I can hold the camera a bit closer to you, so. I do know how to talk. You do I know just, how to talk. I just learned, yeah, <laughs> oh, just recently. You're such a smart kid. I would just like people to get to know you a little bit better. So one of the things that I think is quite uh, amazing and impressive about you is you got a full scholarship. Let me say this slowly once more. A full scholarship for Berkeley yeah. College of Music, which is really it's quite an, an, an achievement or accomplishment. And can you tell me what that entails, full scholarship? So there's yeah, there's lots of scholarships at Berkeley. Uh, there's like full tuition scholarships and there's a presidential scholarship. Uh, and so that's like the equivalent of what I have. It's like the mm -hmm. presidential scholarship. Oh, so presidential scholars. Uh, I got a scholarship uh, called the Slate Scholarship, mm -hmm. and it's one that they give to one Canadian every year uh, to go to Berkeley. And it's so it's a uh, full tuition plus room and board, mm -hmm. and they even uh, buy you like a laptop and uh, they they get your textbooks and stuff like that so I, I really lucked out because I, I was really hoping to go to Berkeley and um, of course it's a very expensive school so yeah but it's, I'm really glad that that's the only way I really could that have gone. Sounds, that's so wonderful and how did you get that uh, that scholarship how did that happen how so, did they pick you out why well there's yeah there's a lot of applicants so I, yeah. I, I applied for it and then um, they narrowed it down to a few people and then so I was luckily the person the that chosen. was chosen, yeah. Chosen I tried to post lots of uh, different, be playing different instruments and stuff, mm -hmm. so I think they like that. Yeah, I wondered what was it that made them choose you over other candidates? Do you know that? I think it was my English speaking. <laughs> that must have been it. <laughs> that must have been it indeed. And uh, so now you're at Berkeley, and uh, what is the, what are you studying there? Uh, I'm trying to study as many different things as I can. I, ha I haven't chosen a major yet, mm -hmm. so I'm just trying to figure it out there's so many things that you can do and there's so many things that I'm interested in doing like I'd love to do some of the production stuff like really? I pr yeah like uh, I have three CDs with my sister it's folk music and the Britian CD I and I like w when the first one I was like 12 so I didn't really have yeah too how much old in. are you you should I'm 19 yeah 19. so I didn't really have much in the way of I wasn't really producing it but when it comes to the last three CDs I had a big hand in producing especially the last one so I love I love recording and I I do a lot of recording myself so it's, it's hard to decide whether I want to do like an engineering thing or a performance major or I think there's a way that I can kind of do all those things at once at this point right now I'm kind of uh, just exploring trying to do lots of things that I'm interested in at the yeah. time and so, and yeah. what musical instrument are you focusing on now well I did it's weird because I did my audition on the violin yeah and. Uh, and then for some reason they set me as a guitar player. I did my really? I did yeah. How does that happen? Well, I did my audition, uh, and they, I brought I was playing banjo, guitar, and yeah. uh, fiddle. Yeah. And then they were like, you got to choose an instrument. Like you yeah. gotta, you, they were like kind of playing good cop, bad cop, and there so one guy was very like, you got to make up your mind right now. Like are you a violinist or and I didn't know how to read music on yeah. anything except for a no, bit on the violin. No, you didn't know how to read music. Well, I, yeah, I still kind of don't. But like on the violin, I did classical violin for many years. So yeah. I I. That was very, like my reading was at a very low uh, really? level, but but I still could kind of read music. So I, I just chose the violin because they asked me to read music, and I just did the violin. They have only one line. Sorry. You have only one line to read. It's not like big chords. No, yeah. just one line. Yeah. So I found it yeah easier. So I picked the violin, and they they asked me. <laughs> was that me. the reason that you picked violin? Because it was easier to read. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, so funny. And they asked. They said like. It was so quick because I only had 15 minutes and I wanted to play these different instruments and stuff just to show like that I can do different things and so I... Um, so what instruments did you play? Uh, tenor banjo, mm -hmm. uh, guitar and uh, fiddle. And violin. Yeah. yeah, and so they, they were very rushed and they, so they said, cause my, my real name is Adrian, Adrian oh. Bashan. Ah, okay. my, my dad is Adrian Bashan yeah. uh, Senior, right? So yeah. I'm Adrian Bashan Junior. And uh, so they're they're like, all right, Adrian, let's get started. We only got 15 minutes, and I'm like, I didn't have time to tell them that I go by Quinn. So I did my audition as Adrian Bashand on the violin. Yeah. And then when I did my interview process thing, 
they were like, I explained to him, I, I like to go by Quinn, and uh, we didn't even talk about an instrument or anything like right. that. So I did one audition as Adrian Bashan, the violinist, and one audition as Quinn Bashan, the guitarist. You're a split personality. I have a split personality, <laughs> yeah. That's so, how that went. So they take care of you now because you're a split personality and they, yeah. they really need, yeah, I understand that. And uh, so um, you have been performing with whom? Can you tell us a little bit about that? I've been playing a lot with uh, my sister, who's, we play folk music together. We just released an Christina? album. Christina? Christina, yeah, yeah. Christina and Quinn Bashan is the mm -hmm. name of our group. And mm -hmm. we just released an album in January at mm -hmm. Celtic Connections in Scotland. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's thank you. Yeah, your music, the way you play together is just, I love it. Thank you. And she was living in Amsterdam for yeah. a few years, so we were very lucky to come over to your place. And, yeah. yeah, I was lucky. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and get to play with you now. And so. Cook for you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, she. I play a lot with her. We play folk music, and then I have a project that I call Brishin. It's like yeah. any gypsy jazz stuff that I do. Mm -hmm. And then I do a lot of playing with different fiddle players um, in Canada, especially like Ashley McIsaac. I played a lot with. Mm -hmm. She's a great Celtic fiddle player, and Natalie McMaster. So you her. like to play Celtic music? I love Celtic music. Yeah, yeah. and uh, there, I've been playing a lot lately with a guy named Jeremy Kittle. Uh -huh. This guy that's located in New York. Ah, okay. Is that Jeremy Kittle? No. So. <laughs> and how about gypsy jazz? And gypsy jazz, who do I play with? When yeah, I play well, gypsy do jazz? you like it? How did you get to know it? And well, I, what, what do you do with it? When I first started playing the guitar, uh, people were giving me recordings of different stuff, and I, I grew up playing the fiddle. Like I played the violin for longer than the guitar, and so I, I was exposed to like Cape Breton fiddling. And, French Canadian fiddling, all different types of fiddling traditions, a lot of Irish fiddling as well. In BC there's not really a strong tradition of like traditional music or anything no. like that, right? So it's just a big mix of different styles. And then um, someone gave me like a big thing of recordings of Joe Venuti and Eddie Lang huh? and Bob Wills and like a lot of um, sort of like Western swing yeah. and that kind of thing. And I really, really loved it. And then my dad turned me on to Django. He gave me that Souvenirs album. You I, know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so then I, I couldn't stop That's, listening to That's, by the way, a really beautiful tune, tune to play. Do you play that one? Souvenirs? souvenirs? No, actually. Oh, right. Yeah. Learn, the, learn, learn that of, one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of great tunes on that yeah, CD. So I, I just f kind of fell in love with the, the, that music and uh, also the Celtic music. But, you know, I was just getting a lot more gigs playing the guitar. And, that's ah. in, in when I was in Canada with the different fiddle players, like just kind of took over, you know. So, yeah. but then when my sister moved to Amsterdam, I started playing a lot more gypsy jazz, and then yeah. started this project with. Um, I got my friend Richard Moody to play yeah. violin, and Ruben Weir, who's here, yeah. great rhythm guitar player and singer, and Joey Smith. So, okay. And what about Max O'Rourke? Max O'Rourke. This is yeah. So we both go to Berkeley. Max uh -huh. is also at Berkeley, and we're. Um, just we became good friends uh, at the school, just hanging out. You, you have to, you know, you have to connect with your gypsy yeah. jazz brother. So certainly, we um, we've been playing a lot, to, hanging out together. But this was actually the first gig that we had done together. Oh really? Yeah. So okay, so that was the concert yesterday evening. The concert yesterday yeah. Yeah, at the at Wicca. It's and it's also funny that last year you won this award here in in Langley. What's it called? The, the Saga Award. The Saga yeah. Award, and it's it's, it's for a. Uh, uh, Young, talented uh, gypsy jazz uh, musician, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So I, last year I got that, and this year Max is. And this year Max, that. and now you're performing together. That's. Now, yeah. It's a really nice coincidence, or not a coincidence, but nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know anything else anymore. Do you know anything? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is Queen Bashant. <laughs>